uh, Susma Vata from Nepal. I'm a researcher, photographer, and a storyteller. Today, I'm going to share my journey with you. So I'm going to share my screen here. Mm. So my title is My Journey from uh, Dreams to Reality. So I was born in a small family. These are my parents and me. And as, as a kid and as a growing up, I always dreamt of traveling, you know, traveling around the around. But I was it was difficult for as a female because they would not allow you to, to travel anywhere on your own. So I lost my parents at a young age that had really deep in, uh, impact on my growing up. That's like, you know, and the, the struggle and the stress is comes with is a really uh, sometimes becomes difficult to challenge to cope with it. So like because of that, I always wanted to be in a very peaceful places like somewhere in the mountain where there will be no human being. I always dream of that, but I didn't know like I would ever manage to do that. So and when I would like stuck and sad, thinking of these mountains would like really keep me keep going. So these are the photos I, I took during my journey in Nepal, around Nepal. And like and life offered give offered me opportunity to, to travel. I get a job with different organization that would uh, that would like that I have to travel with them. So I got, uh, you know, and then I would travel on my own also to explore my country. So I was like escaping, escaping just to be some in the somewhere in the mountain where I could find my peace. And I did keep doing, I keep, I keep doing that. I keep doing that for like many years. And later on, I realized the what, you know, that, that was the whatever I wanted to escape from that became like it, it, I, it helped me to like self discovery. So these are also the photos around the country. I around the country when I was traveling. So like when I was traveling then and you would meet the people and uh, normal in the remote part of the country, it's, it's not easy to uh, get access to anything. So I would see this people like need help and I would like me and with some of my friends, we try to help. So whenever I could, I just try to help with the people. And this really helped me to uh, establish a connection with the people and the communities and it bring me close to them. And, and like you know and then like when i would like see the smile on their face that would really give me a peace like i would sleep very well in the night like during the nights so i realized sometimes like you know happiness is within ourselves sometimes we have to find it so yeah i was quite happy to be the part of the people life and you know and was very good it was those were the good days of self discovery i would say that and like uh, when I was traveling, I I started taking photos, and I realized I take like a, okay photos, you know. But I think it's good for me. So, and then I it inspired me to write this story. I I see this uh, humans of New York somewhere, and I just wanted to create something like that. So I started like writing, collecting, and and writing stories of the people they would tell me, and I wanted to share it to the world, and at the same time give back something to the community. So I did that. I started like, and I launched a blog in 2018 and, and I started traveling, traveling, traveling around the country to get the stories, which really, you know, I just traveled almost all the part of the country, which really helped me to understand my own country and, and culture. And I, I fall deeply in love with my country so much. And this is my blog that travels around my Nepal. And so, yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for having patience with me. And I hope you have a good day to everybody. Namaste.